Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Leuven and in today's video, I'm going to be going through all of the journals I keep currently. Hopefully this will also give you ideas for journals you can keep if you are looking for ways to fill your own journals. Right now I am keeping seven journals and I just keep it in this container from Daiso. My main one is my everyday journal, which this is my second like daily journal. I try to do it every day. That doesn't always happen. And this is where where I keep literally everything. I write about my day and just I'll do any spread I want. This is just like my main journal. So this is the one I keep up with most. These other ones are just kind of on the side and just ways to fill my other notebooks. So this is the journal that I normally show you guys. Then I have all these other ones. Okay, let me go through these one by one. This one, it says good things will happen. I got it from Kino Kunia. I just always feel like i'm saying that wrong this is so pretty <laughs> since it says good things will happen i decided to use this one as like a manifestation notebook i actually lost this so i haven't gotten that far in this one i haven't really gotten far in too many of these because they are kind of on the side ones but i haven't gotten too far in this one because i keep losing it it's really pretty. Here's the inside. So this is my law of attraction journal. This is literally all I have filled out. First thing I wrote in this journal was recipe for attracting. So this will be good if you want to start this. Just recipe for attracting. One, three things that I'm grateful for that day. Two, two challenges I overcame that day. And three, what I want to attract. So then I'll just put the date. I put the day of the week and then the date kind of small and then I do one two three and I just write it out so I've only done it two times because like I said I lost the journal but we have it back now so maybe I can do this again but I don't know I think it's really cute and it's a way of bringing positivity into your life it's kind of a gratitude journal mixed with manifesting things so that's that one then I love this one this one is my mental health journal so this I like go deeper into certain struggles and certain like feelings that I don't always do in my main journal. So I really like the stickers on it. My sister got these from a place in Iowa, but I think I found this brand on Etsy. I'll show you what they look like. So maybe you could look those up. But they're so cute and they're positive. Just perfect for this book. I named this journal The Book of Feelings. And this is the title page. So I started this at the beginning of 2020. So I did mental resolutions for 2020. Daily mental health practices and mental reset practices. So the daily mental health practices are things that I would do every day. So things like journaling, going on a walk. I put an app called San Velo. You should look that up it's i haven't been using it lately though and then like mental reset practices are like relaxing things so like having tea taking a bath a face mask so then i had a log from a day and talked about winter break silence i like this page loving myself and like sometimes I like do it on a day and then sometimes I focus on a certain topic. So this was kind of my almost irrational anxiety towards school. Then my mental health day. When I had my mental health day, I like included it. Oh, and my mental breakdown at school. That's a fun one. <laughs> and then I actually kind of took a break from this journal. So I did a little update recently. And then I did one on online school and I still haven't done this one, but it's called The Cycle of School. I really like this journal. Next journal is my reading journal. I have a video on this channel of where I set up this reading journal. I need to update it a bit, but if you watch that video, you saw the first like three pages, I believe. This is how far I got. So I talked about books I was reading. So I talked about The War of Art. That book is horrible. Don't read it. Like I was starting to write like notes from it, important things from it, but don't listen to that book it sucks and i did start ranting about how much it sucks because it was kind of bashing mental illness and stuff and i was like i put it down i was like nope and then i switched to a realistic fiction book to just recoup from that book so yeah <laughs> then we have this journal which i love the look of it, it it's this lucky cat journal and uh 
I just love Lucky Cats. Like, I'm so happy I found this. This is a Sonics journal, and it comes in a pack of three. This journal is for tarot readings. I love this girl. Her name is Vanessa Samina, I think. I don't know. I'm going off my memory here. I know her first name is Vanessa and it's like some mine yeah, or something But I am so glad I started this journal. I had been loving watching tarot card reading videos on YouTube I would have things where I'm like, oh my god Like that was so accurate and I would like think of that video and like I would save the videos But there was no way of me like always remembering what group I picked and which crystal and stuff So then I started writing about it here and I kind of wrote what the prediction was and what crystal I chose. So at the top I just write which tarot it is. So I'll do tarot 1, tarot 2, and blah blah blah. I'll keep going. So I'm like counting the videos. So now like whenever I watch one of those videos I always record it in here and I have a little reflecting moment. This it's just like full on writing. And this is another one I haven't gotten too far in. I don't know they're kind of all like that now. But yeah this one's like pretty helpful for me and I want to do another one kind of reflecting reflecting on one of them and kind of updating on what that reading said. Then this is a suggestion I've seen on YouTube in like other fill your notebook videos and that is to keep a quote book. So I'm trying to learn that. I like this because I love this post-it note. But yeah, I just decorate it. To start it, I like started using some of the quotes I had pinned on Pinterest just so I have a base. And I started this one more recently, so we haven't caught them too far. And this journal is from Daiso. And then last but not least, we have my YouTube journal. So obviously this one like isn't helpful for everyone, probably for most people, but if you do have a YouTube channel, it's helpful. And I'm sure every person who does YouTube has a journal like this. Yeah, this one is pretty filled up. Don't even know how that time passed. Here's one page that I like where I categorize videos with washi tape. And this was my little channel revamp. Yeah, but I just write down all my ideas and like current videos and stuff. And actually sometimes I'll do like a YouTube update and I'll like actually write. This journal, don't know where it's from. I think it's from like a museum. But I put this Stay Committed to Your Dreams from All Things Lily and I just printed it on my printer. <laughs> um, but I actually did get a sticker of it now. She finally came out with a sticker that looks literally just like what I printed out. So it's so exciting. Before this video ends, I'll just give you guys a quick recap of the journals that I showed you guys. So first we had my manifesting journal, then we had my mental health journal, and my reading journal, tarot reading journal, quote journal, and my YouTube journal. Oh, and I forgot also my main journal, of course. So yeah, those are all the journals I keep. Hopefully it gave you some ideas for what kind of journals you can start and stuff. Of course, my favorite will always be my main journal because this has literally everything. The other ones are just focused on like little niches or different things. But this is, you know, this is the real journal. Those I'll do like every once in a while, but not nearly as much as my actual main journal. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Make sure you stay tuned for my other videos. I have some exciting videos coming up, like decorating my next journal. So excited about. So yeah. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.